Welcome back, everybody, to Disney Adventures. By popular demand, you guys seem to have loved our last little relaxing POV walk, so I thought we would do it one more time. Today, we are shooting on the Sony a7 IV, and one of my favorite lenses, the Sony 50mm 1.2 G Master. This is gonna give you a more human eye field of view and perspective. It's gonna be a fun day at the park. Hello. Yep. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Let's start off this photo walk with a busy photo of the crowded Main Street on Hollywood Studios. I think it's called Hollywood Boulevard, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get some of these details now. Mickey's right here. There we go. That looks pretty cool. That's nice. Okay. Let's see if we can get this watch and a little bit brighter. Three, two, one. That looks good. So, 50 millimeters is a little bit tricky. I basically have to zoom with my feet so I can't get, you know, can't just zoom in with the lens. Uh, means I'm going to be able to, I'm gonna be limited on what shots I can get. Sorry, still waking up. Have not had my coffee yet. Sorry about that. Look at that, this street light. That looks nice. Wonder if we could get a more iconic angle. Not, there we go, get something in the background right there. And, much better. Yeah, Whew, it is a beautiful day. You know, I was a little nervous I wasn't gonna be able to make this uh, video. My pass gets blocked out soon and you know, it's been very stormy down here in Florida. So being able to come to the park before the two weeks of no park visits is, is really nice. Oh, let's get let's see if we can get something with these bubbles. I'm gonna try and get a photo that signed with bubbles. You wanna help me out and get some bubbles? Let's see if we can do that. Oh let's see. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. The bubbles create this like dream effect. That's a fun little photo. Got the cast member in there though. <laughs> I think my wife is getting me coffee so I'm a little bit more lively. So let's get a photo of the Starbucks. There we go. So you guys might be noticing that there's like an incredible amount of background blur with this lens. That comes from the aperture being 1.2. With that fast aperture, it really creates shallow depth of field, allowing me to isolate subjects a lot. Let's see. This one, I'm gonna be getting down low. Let's see if we can get a person, like a blurry person. There we go. That looks really nice. I'm trying not to drift too far from the Starbucks right now because my wife is getting me coffee and it's gonna be a pain for her to find me if I walk too far from there. I wonder if we, no. Oh, there we go, the Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. I like that, that shot looks really good. Okay, now that we have the coffee, we can continue with our photo walk and spending a beautiful day 
at Hollywood Studios. So I think I need to have my wife hold up the coffee mug in front of the tower so I can get a beautiful shot of this precious nectar uh, with the tower. Also, if you guys ever want to buy me coffee in the parks, you guys can use the link down below. It goes a long way. I'm very appreciative of everybody who bought this coffee. I think it was a kid named Tim. I can't remember his name. I think it was Tim. I, uh, I feel really bad. Tim, I'm sorry if you want to correct it in, in the comments, like comment that you bought me this coffee. Uh, please, uh, I'll pin it. I'll pin it here. I'm going to give that to you. We're going to hold it up. Let's get that lens cap off. There we go. And then let's do... Oh, do you see how blurry that tower is? That's where F1.2 is too blurry. And now we can make out the tower a little bit better. <laughs> it's too blurry. I will drink some of this delicious coffee. Oh, so good. I like drinking coffee in the park, right? Like in the early morning. Super refreshing. Ooh. I will give this to you. <laughs> there we go. We're looking at the little details today. Like Mouse About Town. Is that what that place is called? Mouse About Town? Let's do this. Perfect. So one thing that I never really pay attention to is this like shopping center area over here. Maybe I should give it some love. The Ranch Market. Sunset Ranch Market. Let's see. Pretty flowers. There we go. Oh, I like that photo. Look at that. Yeah, it's a great photo. Let's see if we can get the Sunset Ranch Market sign and the tower. Oh yeah, we can definitely do this. I think we're gonna go for a landscape view. There we go. What do you guys think? How's that look? Let's back up just a little bit. Get more tower. Yeah, that looks really good. <laughs> Perfect. Can I steal some more of that coffee? My two loves, in both hands. Oh, sorry. And, and my wife in the middle. <laughs> Here you go. I want to get the phantasmic sign. It's phantasmic. <laughs> kind of missed the length of my 7200 for my original photo walk video. That's a really good lens to get the details at Disney. 50, I, like I said at the beginning, I have to zoom with my feet. Let's see. Oh, I think, there we go, look at that, and oof, that's a cool shot, I feel good about that shot. As we get ready to head to our next area, I do want to stop and 
photograph some of these toys in the window because these are like super cute. Let's see if we can get the whole display. I feel like one of these is supposed to be a Mrs. Potato Head though. These are old. Oh, they've gotten like burnt because of the sun. The sun. Like if we look at, let's see if I can get that angle. Oh, he does not look great. This Mr. Potato Head like represents, look at that face. These are some, uh, some worn down spuds. <laughs> now, I think what we're going to hit up next are the 50th anniversary statues. So those I have done like complete tours of if you want to see the 50th anniversary statues. We're going to walk by them and kind of just go through them really quickly because I really, really want to walk around Galaxy's Edge today and do some photos around Galaxy's Edge. I'm a huge Star Wars buff. I mean, you can tell by the shirt that I've been wearing that my wife made, Some Imagination Inc. Her Etsy shop is linked down below. And I just like, I love this shirt too. Huge Star Wars fan, but let's walk over here. It was actually really hard to get reservations. This was like a last minute reservation so that I could do this photo walk for you guys. Like I read the comments, I hear you guys, more photo walks. I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is amazing. I love the movie Soul. It was a really great movie and it covered like a lot of it gave me a bit of an existential crisis. <laughs> Are there any other statues? No, we got some right here. Yeah, I'm so fat. No. Now, I think there is a Woody one up oh, right over here. This one's a, gonna be a tricky lighting situation. We got the sun starting to really pop out. Look at that. So this lens creates such a beautiful image. Like that background blur, the people are just a blurry mess. I still wanna wait and see if we can get a little less people. That's about as good as I think we're going to get it. Let's go get the other 50th statues. So this is a new camera from Sony. I switched from Canon to Sony and I have been loving this switch. I primarily shoot video. So I shoot a lot of weddings. I shoot a lot of weddings at Disney and I, I love how good these cameras are for filming weddings. This is kind of like my first official photo test though. And it's like a 33 megapixel high resolution camera. And so far I'm loving it. It feels really good. It's not like designed for like my bigger hands like the Canon was, but it feels really good. Let's get Frozone. He is a tall statue. Perfect. So the cool thing is this has like eye autofocus and on these statues, it's starting to track some of the eyes, which is great. Oh, look at that pout right there. <laughs> Chelsea's an amazing photo pass photographer. <laughs> <laughs> okay now let's get everybody's for favorite droids over here i think we're gonna have to wait for this one though it's gonna be a minute let's see it's always worth waiting for the shot you know 
these droids look really good. Let's dial in our settings while we wait for this shot. BB-8's flipping, BB flipping me off? What? What are you talking about? I think they need a chopper droid. So, if you guys haven't seen Star Wars Rebels, it's on Disney+. Plus. It is an amazing series, and the best droid to come out of the Star Wars universe is a droid called Chopper from that series. Can I get a, can I get a like for Chopper? Any Chopper fans? Chop, chop. chop. <laughs> okay. Get both of these beautiful babies in the shot. Okay, let's get close-ups. R2 has never looked so good. Wonder if I can get the 50 through the rail. Let's do that. Oh yeah, with the 50 lined up in the rail. Bless you. Let's do. Oh yeah. So I think my favorite is lining up the 50 in between the rails. Looking for framing within a photo is like, a great way to take a great photo. How many times can I say great? <laughs> photo, 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 photo. We have made it to Galaxy's Edge. Already, I'm like very excited to take some photos. We, oh, look at that. Let's get this little droid. Sorry. Perfect. Oh, it moves. I didn't expect that. <laughs> the coolest part about these photo walks for me is I get to stop and look at the details that, like, normally I don't look at. We got so many strollers here. Let's do... There's nothing really to, to messy up the foreground with this, like... Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. We're shooting. We're doing, like, spy mission stuff here. Looking at it through the rocks. That's so popular today. Let's see if we can get this entrance. Let me get some of these details. Oh, that's really cool. We're gonna go into the bazaar. It's gonna be a bazaar world up ahead. Right, this is like a bazaar? It's an outpost, but yeah. Okay, it's an outpost. Okay. You're not wrong. Oh God, so many people. Of course. This is where the anxiety comes in. Look at it. the way the light is hitting this porg right now is pretty cool. I know, I was just thinking like the loaf cat. Let's see. It's like difficult to get good. Do you see a little lightsaber thing there? So, this little thing right here is called a loaf cat. They are in the Star Wars Rebels series. There we go. I love that. I love the little call outs to Star Wars Rebels. Nope. Let's get. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Look at these little. What are these? Can I buy one of these? Can I like drive around the park in it? Like that would be really cool merchandise, you know? Okay, I can't really get level with this one. Let's do this green speeder bike. Dang. That looks really good. See if we can get the blue one. They sell stuffed loaf cats? Oh, they do. 
Where's the white loaf cap? I don't know. They just have the blue loaf cap. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. sorry. <laughs> I have to like angle it up. There we go. Wait for them to rotate right. It's hard to get the GoPro to show the higher angles. Okay, now I'm gonna really wish I had my ultra wide lens for the best part of Galaxy's Edge. Coming up to it, the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Just to try it. Okay, let's see if we can get the Millennium Falcon with this lens. Let's see, we're gonna post it up right here. That's pretty cool. I don't want to fall. This is tricky with this lens. So I definitely recommend like a wider zoom lens for Hollywood Studios because to get these big fat details, like it's impossible with this camera. But let's see, let's walk around the Millennium Falcon, see if there's like some details we can get. Like, we'll focus on the cabin right there. There we go. Sorry. Everybody wants their photo in front of the Falcon. Let's see. Oh, sorry, you're all good. Just got my foot run over by a stroller. Welcome to Disney. Okay, I almost am thinking like I have to switch lenses at this point. So here's what 50 looks like. Let's switch lenses. Let's let's show them what a wide lens looks like, I think. There we go. So if we look this is super wide, like ultra wide. I have to like get, I can get the whole Millennium Falcon right here at 14 millimeters. It's the entire Falcon. The trick with ultra wide lenses like this is like capturing the details in a way that's pleasing. You have to be very cognizant of the angles and the composition because with wide lenses, it's impossibly hard to get shallow depth of field or blurry backgrounds or to isolate your subject. So with ultra wide lenses, you're looking at like, where are the leading lines? Like I would take a photo of this pipe, right? And this pipe right here, could be a leading line to a subject like right there so that's like something you have to be very cognizant of with ultra wide lenses especially leading lines and composition are important in photography with anything you do but ultra wides especially and then the other benefit of like an ultra wide is you can make something appear larger than life so you get like really close to your subjects and it gives this sense of grandeur. When you clicked on this video, did you expect to learn something today? Let's see, more details. More details. There we go. Oh, 
this is cool. This is like tricky. There's a jetpack. Oh, that's Boba's jetpack. Oh, this is tricky actually. So trying to get, I might have to manually focus this. Let's see. I don't know if I can get that to look as good as I want it to. And dang, it would have been cooler if they had it in like a glass crate, but I get it. It wouldn't fit the theme. You know what would be really cool is if they did some kind of live interaction where you'd see like residents coming in and out of the houses. Like that would be that would be a pretty cool little detail. Is this where everybody comes from the new resort? This is like the new resort entrance. It'd be kind of cool to, to get a photo of the shuttle. Let's see. Oh, no, we're playing the waiting game. I'm committed. Oh. There we go. Haha, -ha, see, I told you. I could sense it. Yeah. Let's get some photos of them coming out. Oh, man. Those are some bright, bright white outfits. This is like a good dynamic range, Jess, because like in the photos, like, can I see the details in his armor and the details in the shadow back here? <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> okay, we waited around for like five minutes. I don't think Kylo Ren is coming out, but you know, when I walk away, that's that's typically when it'll happen. Keep looking back, hoping to see Kylo Ren. I hear sounds. Is Kylo coming? I really want. Space wanna... Daddy's not coming. Space Daddy's not coming. <laughs> Let's get some of these droids, shall we? Oh yeah, this is a good shot right here. Woo, look at that, just absolute beauty. The destroyed up probe droid. There we go. Perfect. It's like a droid graveyard. They use them as lights. They use them as lights? Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a small little detail I never noticed before. They use the parts of the droids as lights. Good catch, Chelsea. There we go. That's cool. And now we get to our last stop on this photo walk. We're going through the Toy Story part of the park. We got a lot of details in here that we're gonna try and capture. One is the Buzz Lightyear box there with that slinky dog. That looks pretty good. And then let's get Buzz Lightyear himself. Dang. He is a very tall statue. He's life size. <laughs> so you got like the space area, right? Just this small little section, and then you got like Andy's backyard. This is all Andy's backyard. This is all Andy's backyard. So like, I need a drone shot to see that it's Andy's backyard. Yeah. Got it. Oh, the toy soldiers. Let's see. I, 
I really wish I had my like zoom lens right now, but there we go. Yeah, I, I, I miss, so if you're visiting Disney and you want to do Disney photography, I 10 out of 10 recommend a zoom lens because you will probably like that more than the blurry backgrounds I get with just this prime lens. Like, I, I love this lens. This lens serves a great purpose, but the zoom lenses are just really nice. Let's try and get Slinky Dog. Let's get the Slinky Dog ride, that takeoff. I already know, like, from this bridge, I can get a cool shot of the Slinky Dog ride. I think that'll be cool. Let's see. I'm almost thinking like I could do like a slow shutter speed and make it look cool. Slinky dodge. Dash right there. Yeah, I have an idea. I think. Yeah, we'll get a, the slinky dog ride coming by. And then I almost have this idea of like a slower shutter speed exposure shot here. This is gonna be tricky. Ready and here we go. Oh that's cool. Okay, let's see if we can get it. I, yep. This will be very interesting. I got to time this like perfect. And three, two, one. Oh, dang it. I couldn't quite get the shot that I wanted. It's all good. I think I can get it. So like this is, do you see that Yeah. right there? Let's see if we can get that again. This is going to be tricky. And try this. <laughs> nope. So the slower shutter speed puts like emphasis on the movement. One more try. So kind of like, eh, not bad, but not what I wanted. Let's get, yeah, let's get a cool shot right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. We got him right there. Yeah, it would be nice if there was like some clouds. So like, that's the thing is like, I got some clouds in the background, but it would be nice if there was like more moody, you know? Maybe sunset, like the sun would be like behind him. I think that would be really cool. That's the cool thing about photography is like, you just come, you take some photos, you get more creative just by seeing a photo and, and seeing what little details you'd like to have in it. And then you can try again. That's my favorite part about photography is it's just like everything, like embrace the imperfections, right? Like. If you have clouds and, and stuff like messy stuff in, in the foreground or the background, thank you. I love when people compliment my shirt. Me too. Yeah, but like embrace imperfections in your photography because like that's where the beauty is. It helps when the imperfections are blurry messes because you have blurry backgrounds, but embrace imperfection. Two and a half hours for Story Mary, Toy Story Mania, two hours for Slinky Dog. It is a popular day at the park. Let's go home. Yeah, I think we're just about there. Let me get a shot of Woody and then a portrait of uh, the soldier. Let's get this really quick. There we go. No, you're perfect. You're fine. Thank you, though. There we go. Perfect. 
And then let's do one more toy soldier over here. We came to the wrong entrance. This is the entrance with all the good photo stuff. Let's get this guy. Oh, this is a beautiful shot. So like, ready and welcome to Toy Story Mania. Everything behind him. Let's see. And then let's get Woody. And I think we're just about done of our little photo walk. I'm gonna cut across over here. There we go. And boom. Let's get Woody in focus. Yeah. Well, everybody, thank you for coming on this POV photo walk. If you guys want to see more, be sure to let me know. I didn't expect so much love for the last photo walk. So thank you and be sure to subscribe for more. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. But until next video, we'll see you guys around.